Cloud PBX allows companies to start transitioning from their on-premise PBX systems into the cloud with Office 365 as the central management location for everything. With PSTN Calling, Office 365 customers also can subscribe to the Microsoft-provided calling plans and get a Microsoft-provided phone number. First, we're going to select our user that we want to edit. So we're going to select Dorina, and we're going to check the box next to her name. Now, we're going to select and look at the licenses that are available by clicking on the Assign Licenses option. Once this is done, you'll notice that there's a few options here. We have our Office 365 Enterprise E5 license, the E3 license, and then you should also notice the Skype for Business PSTN Conferencing and Skype for Business PSTN Calling International. It is important to note that you can actually add Cloud PBX and PSTN Calling to an E1 or an E3 or an E5 license as can be seen here. Next, we're going to go ahead and expand out the E5 license, and we're going to see the options that are available underneath here. You'll notice you'll see Skype for Business Cloud PBX is one of the options. Skype for Business PSTN Conferencing is also there, and the other E5 options exist as well. For our example, we're going to select the Office 365 Enterprise E5 license with the check mark. We'll then minimize the options and move on. Next, we're going to need to go into the Admin section for Skype for Business. In order to do this, on the left-hand side of the screen, take your mouse and hover over and click on Skype for Business to open the Admin Center. Now that we're in the Skype for Business Admin Center, let's take our mouse and click on the word Voice on the left-hand side of the screen. Once we do this, we'll see a list of phone numbers that are assigned to our tenant. Now we're going to add a new phone number for use inside of our tenant. To do this, let's click on the plus sign just underneath the words Phone Number. Once we do this, we're going to need to tell Skype for Business what state we want to assign the number in. Let's click on the drop down and select the appropriate state. Once we've selected our state, in this example we're using Colorado, we now need to tell Skype for Business which city we want to look for a phone number from. In this example, we'll use Pueblo. Once we've selected our city, now we need to tell Skype for Business just how many phone numbers we want to acquire inside of our tenant. For our example, we're going to use the number 5. Now, we will click on the Add button to tell Skype for Business that we're ready to assign these numbers. Adding phone numbers in Office 365 is a real-time experience, so access to the new phone numbers is immediate without the admin completing any further work or having to contact any phone company whatsoever. At this point in time, the admin has an additional 10 minutes left, as indicated at the bottom of the screen, to acquire additional numbers. Once you've reserved all the numbers that you're looking for, simply click on Acquire Numbers to move on. The next thing we want to talk about is porting over a number. To do this, in the same voice screen, click on the words Port Orders to move on. Admins can use Port Orders in order to transfer phone numbers from an existing service provider or a carrier into Skype for Business Online, making Microsoft the service provider. As our admin user is still logged in, we can manually assign a new phone number to any active user that we see. For our example, let's select David by clicking the check mark, and then let's select Assign Number on the right-hand side. On this screen, we're going to select the number to assign drop-down by clicking on the down arrow on the right-hand side. Once we do that, we're going to scroll down and find the Pueblo, Colorado numbers. We can continue to assign these numbers for that same period of 10 minutes as described before. As you can see here, the newly acquired Pueblo, Colorado phone numbers are already available for us to assign. Let's click on the first number that's available. The system must have at least one emergency address created before assigning a phone number to a user. So let's click in the Find City box. Select an emergency address drop down, and then click on One Microsoft Way, and then let's click on Save. This completes our walkthrough of the Microsoft E5 Cloud PBX demo for administrators. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you for our next in the video series.